What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I want to show you guys how to SSH into your device after using the Electra jailbreak. So I have some tweaks and also have a theme up here that I'm going to SSH into this device and yeah, show you guys. Hopefully this video goes on pretty smooth. I don't like making this kind of video because it's so much steps but people are asking. I said I wouldn't but people are asking so I'm going to do it. So make sure on your device the jailbreak is up and running. So if you turn off, this is a semi-tether jailbreak. So if you turn it off, the jailbreak, you have to redo it. So just tap on Anemone and make sure it opens. That's how you know the jailbreak is up and running or you will know. So I have two links in the description. I have one to this website where you could go to check out whatever theme and tweaks are working. And also you could just click on it and it will download. You download the dev files and also CyberDuck. I'm using Mac, so I use CyberDuck to SSH into my device. And for Windows, I think it's called WinSCP. You guys could just Google them and YouTube them, you'll find them. So I have all the stuff I need right here. I have the theme, which is minimal, and status folder, and dark messages, and also blurred. These are the tweaks that I'm going to put on. So I want to open up CyberDuck. You're going to get this right here. And you're going to need your IP address. So you're going to go to your Wi-Fi, go to settings, go to your Wi-Fi and basically just tap on the eye next to your Wi-Fi and then the IP address right there. That's what you're going to need to put in the server. So you want to hit connection, open connection, then you want to go to the drop down and you want to hit SFTP SSH file. So that's what you want to do. And your IP address. You just want to put your IP address in here. Let me delete out everything because I already did that. So you just want to put in your IP address, whatever it says, next to your Wi-Fi. So you just want to put that in there. And you want to use root, the password. The username is root, R-O-T-T. -T, and then the password is Alpine, A L. P I N E. And once you hit that, it should connect. So there you go. Let me zoom in a little bit. So there it is right there. So this is where we at. So you want to go to the slash. You want to hit this drop down and you want to go to the slash. And for the theme, you want to go to bootstrap then you want to go to library and then themes is right here just tap on that just drag that and you're good and then you want to open up the theme folder with the one that you have on your on the desktop that you downloaded so you're gonna have these three folders right here so some theme might have more but for this one it only has three, so you basically just want to copy all three. Or the drag and drop right in the themes. And as you can see, it's putting them all over. It's just transferring them over to the to the theme folders on my iPad. This is all over Wi-Fi. This is all over Wi-Fi. This is taking some time. Okay, so now that's done. I want to exit that out. And as you can see, I have the... Let me drag this over into the view. As you can see, I have the files right there. So if I go back to themes and I tap on it, you can see I have the files right there. Okay, guys, so now we want to do the tweaks. So basically, you want to stay in the same spot right here themes is right here so we're gonna back out and we're gonna put the the tweaks in basically SP inject and preference loader and all the bundles depending on what's in the the tweak folder that's what you're gonna do so I wanna do dark messages so it's right here so basically I wanna double tap on that and it's gonna open into another folder depending on the the app you got to extract it, it should just open it a folder just basically it's going to show you where the folder is then you're going to tap on that folder 
and it's going to be in here and then you want to go into the data then you want to open up this one right here the blue one with data and then you go to library then you're going to go to preferences you got mobile substrate so you're going to put stuff in mobile substrate mobile substrate in the cyber duck it's called SB inject so whatever is in mobile substrate you want to drag to XB inject whatever is in preference bundle you want to drag to preference bundle and preference loader just like that so when I tap on preference loader preferences should get a plist file so basically I'm going to drag over here to preference bundle preference loader sorry let's back up preference loader preferences and the file there's no files in there so I want to drag this dart message plist file over into just like that you can see it's right there so that's real cool so we drag that over there now we want to back up let's see what's in the preference let's go back out let's go to preference bundles so that's the file is right there I'm going to go to preference bundles right here open that up drag that in there going to be transferring there you go so you got the dark message bundle right in here with all the stuff so you want to back out then you want to go to SB inject exit that then you want to go to mobile substrate and all these files right here you just want to basically just copy all of them let me open up SB inject and with all these files in here just drag these right in there and let them load so now it's done so that's how you do it guys so all these files that were over here I don't know, it's kinda hard to see but that will drag them in there so whatever is in each folder that's what you're gonna drag remember mo mobile substrate is called SB inject preference bundles preference bundles right here and preference loader preference loader right here so that's basically that's gonna do that and that's all you need to do we already did the themes or the one theme and it's right there and now I wanna hit disconnect so, so now we could exit out of that and now that's the time of truth so we're gonna go in our device oh that's my iPhone 10 just dropped so okay, so I want to go to anemone. Let's hit apply. I want we're gonna have to respring re our device. So that's why I went to anemone and hit apply, and it's gonna respring our device to reboot it into the to see if everything worked. Hopefully everything worked. I know it's a lot of steps, but this is what you have to do if you can't wait for an official Cydia on our device. It's a lot of steps, but just be patient. Just follow every everything I said and we should be good so dart messages let's see if that worked hold up let's go to settings let's see if anything's in settings so scroll down it's a dart messages okay so it's in here it's in here so I don't know. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let me kill messages and see if it'll work. I don't know. For some reason, dark messages didn't work, and it's in the settings. So if I go to settings, you can see dark messages. I don't know why it's not why it's not working. I don't know, guy. I don't know why dark message is not working. Maybe it doesn't support the iPad, which is weird. But that's how you do it. You can see it in settings, so you know it's working. So let's go to Anemone and see if the themes worked. Okay, so we got a theme there. We're gonna enable. So 
that everything is enabled. Preview. Okay. So the theme seems to be working. Let's hit apply. Okay, so the theme definitely worked. You can see everything looks different. So yeah, the the, the theme worked. The messages kind of work. I don't know if it's not if it, maybe it just doesn't support the iPad, but you can see right it's right there in settings with all the stuff. So I just don't know why it's not. It is what it is, guys. That's how you do it. Just follow these steps. I know it's a lot of steps. It's Prince with ATP 101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe. Turn notification on because whenever there's a full city up and running, I'll be making tons of videos, tweaks, themes, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to subscribe. Deuces.